What's up everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we have the newest invention from Tim's Foos. Uh, check out the link down below to check this bad boy out, but this is what is called the Foos Blaster. Uh, pretty cool little device. Uh, I, I've had some fun with it, testing it out, playing around with it. Um, pretty different from really anything else that's out on the market. Uh, you'll see a hole here and a hole here. The balls are actually shot out through like a solenoid that's in here. Um, and allows for you to really practice on like catching loose balls, which I think is super important in tournament play or even bar play. If you just want to beat other people, being able to catch loose balls is gonna allow you to do that probably more so than most other skills that foosball allows for. Like if, if you can pass and shoot really well, you're gonna do great obviously, but there's a lot of times where loose ball pickup can be the difference of a game or a match. So to me, the Foos Blaster is a really cool tool for that. Uh, it's got a couple different modes. Uh, I prefer the fast mode, which is it releases a ball every seven seconds. There's also a slow mode that allows for every 12. Um, you can do that by toggling this little switch right here, forward, um, I believe it's forward for seven seconds, back for 12, uh, and then the button here actually actuates, it tells it to go, hey, start shooting these bad boys out. Uh, what I use it for is for quick pickups and then going into a pass, into a shot, uh, kind of like you've already seen in the little clip that I showed to start the video. There's a couple ways that you can use this. Uh, you can face it towards your guys, uh, so when it pops out you're catching it, like trying to cradle it in, uh, or from behind your guys where you're kind of trying to cradle it the other direction. Uh, really great for both situations. Uh, I really put it through its bases at this point. Uh, I think it's super fun. Really interesting little uh, little item. Uh, it does use power, obviously you have to plug it in, but uh, with the Foos lights I have, there's actually a plug on the opposite side. So it turns off the lights on the other tables, but it allows for me to plug this in to either side of the table that I wish. So, very interesting product. Um, is it for everyone? Probably not. Do I think if you are a rookie or an amateur trying to get to that next level and you don't really know why you're not getting to that next level, this will actually help you get there. Um, by moving this around into different placements on the table, uh, using the fast mode, in my opinion, to catch loose balls, it will really help your game out. It's gonna help you catch loose balls, say, if someone's shooting on your goalie. Uh, you can set it in kind of like your goalie area and it'll come and try and catch it on the five. If you want to get used to catching rebounds, your own rebounds, set up in your opposing goalie um, and then learn to catch the ball as it's popping out in different directions. Uh, even if you take this and combine it with the foo stick, I don't know if you guys have seen the foo stick, I have not done a review of it, I don't have one, I know other people that do. Combining this with that is also a really great idea because it's gonna shoot the balls out at different directions, at different angles, uh, and make it difficult to catch. So I think this is a great tool. Um, it is definitely a practice thing. Uh, I personally would say if you're a lower ranked player looking to get better, I would highly suggest one of these. Uh, the price is up there quite a bit, um, somewhere around that $100 mark, but I definitely suggest you know, taking a look at it uh, and maybe getting one from yourself. Now, the two slots here and here is where it holds the balls. Uh, it will hold up to 12 balls, which is a lot. 
Uh, and hopefully you even have 12. Um, so I definitely think it's kind of fun. Uh, I'm gonna put it back on the table now, I'll show you a couple different ways that we use it, um, and possibly even explain that as it's happening. But I think that this is super cool for a multitude of reasons. So let me show you a couple different ways that I use it. Um, see if it's something you guys might like. We'll just go with this for right now for demonstration purposes. But this part is actually as difficult, if not more difficult. Uh, this one's cool because it bounces actually off the rod. It makes it harder to catch. Um, so it's definitely gonna work well in terms of fast reflexes and for you to be able to catch the ball. And the last way that I really like to use it is here on the five bar. This is one of those things that allows you to catch the ball and kind of play around with it real quick before another ball pops out. Now, it's not always gonna be easy to catch that ball, um, and I'll show you why here in just a moment, but this type of stuff, if you're ready for it, makes it really fun to try and catch the loose balls, right? So, those two placements, really, really this one and this one are gonna be the two best. Uh, I set it up there for weird situations, uh, but you can even set it, you know, essentially here and here, uh, and do the same thing with catching rebounds on your three rod. So another great place for it. I think it's really, really good for that, and again, you can kind of mess around with locations. You can move it over here, um, you can move it over here, and find different placements that you really like and to help you catch rebounds even more, you can turn it into different games as well. So something I think that's really fun um, and definitely would suggest getting if that's especially something that you find yourself struggling on. So I guess it comes down to what do I think about the Foos Blaster, who's it for, and uh, is it worth it? Uh, I double checked everything. It is $140 plus shipping on the Tim's Foos website. Again, link down below if you're looking to get one. Um, I think it's for truly, it's for beginners, rookies, and amateurs. Uh, I think for you guys, it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, worth the money for sure, because you're going to gain a lot of stuff that you cannot do um, without this type of practice. Catching loose balls, ball control, that kind of stuff is vitally important for moving up in the ranks, especially if you're gonna to get to an expert level or a pro level, or even become a pro master. It's the most important parts of the game. So once you have those down, you can definitely move your game up and get drastically better. So I think it's awesome. And I think my opinion is it's one of those items that you get and use until you get to about that level. And then you start teaching someone else uh, and you maybe pass it over to them um, and it helps them learn as well. It's, it's a big deal to get other people playing foosball and getting good at foosball. This is one of those items that's gonna really help people get better quickly. Uh, so, do I think it's worth it? Yes. Do I think you should get one? Yes. Uh, is it for everybody? No. I, I don't think it is for everybody. I don't think it was ever intended to be for everybody. So, very cool product, guys. Definitely check it out. Uh, I, I would definitely, definitely think about getting one if you don't have one. Bottom line. Um, especially, even though the price is rather high, it's got a lot going on. Um, it's a big item, it holds foosballs for you and shoots them literally into the table. Uh, thus the name Foos Blaster. Thanks Tim for the product, thank you for letting us use the review here, and if you guys need anything, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And until next time everybody, happy foosin'.